Good afternoon, let me introduce myself. My name is Bettelheim, Dieter Bettelheim. I'm working as an obstetrician and gynecologist in General Hospital in Vienna. My special field is the field of prenatal diagnosis or let's say fetal maternal medicine. I'm working in this area since um, 1996. I started in the clinic in 1992, general um, um, obstetrics, gynecology and then specialization in the field of prenatal diagnosis. I came to Novisat because um, a, a colleague of mine, Professor Miriana Bugavats, invited me or she arranged that I could uh, come to Novisat and I was invited to um, hold a speech at uh, the 6th International Medical Students Congress. Um, in Novisat. My talk deals with prenatal diagnosis and with the kinds of malformations which can be diagnosed by ways of ultrasound or by ways of fetal magnetic resonance imaging and the incorporation of general screening in our country brings us into a situation where a lot of malformations can be diagnosed and where a lot of ethical problems arise because of this. Ethical problems dealing with the situation what to tell a um, couple when you found malformation in the unborn patient. In any way you have to inform the parents in every um, fact in every situation you can diagnose. It is not allowed for a doctor to think it's, it will not be so important so I don't say anything not to bring uncertainty to the uh, mother and uh, to the parents. It's our obligation to tell everything what we see. Otherwise we would have a legal, a medical legal problem because when a um, baby is born with malformations which could have been diagnosed during pregnancy, she goes to a lawyer and the lawyer will look at our medical uh, records and at our um, written reports of the examinations and he will look at the pictures which are stored in a database or which are printed and if there is any suspect that you saw something and didn't tell it to the parents you have a big problem. A problem not because you um, did anything that this malformation came, the problem is that you did not give all the information to the parents so that the parents were not able to make a decision in the one or in the other way. In our unit the question of when to terminate or the when to terminate the pregnancy depends on the decision of a lot of doctors specialists of prenatal diagnosis, specialists of radiology, um, pediatric surgeons, specialists in the field of neuropediatric um, care. All these specialists come together and every individual case, case is um, discussed. And if the situation is like this that we think that the situation of the baby is very severe and cannot be treated after delivery or when the baby will have extremely complicated operative procedures where we know that they don't lead to success for example in very complicated and complex fetal cardiac problems. We give the parents the opportunity that they could say please terminate or please let's interrupt. But interruption is always the wrong word because inter means that it goes, it is prolonged in any way. It must, we have to say it's the termination of pregnancy, not interruption.